Last week with a win over Vanderbilt, Hale State Hoops clinched a share of its first SEC regular season championship. But on Sunday, the Bulldogs had no interest in sharing. With a win over Texas A&M, the Dogs would stand alone in the record books. To the hump we go for some hoops. Mississippi State won one away from their first ever outright SEC title in women's basketball, facing 17th ranked Texas A&M. And boy, State flew out of the gates fast, turning defense into offense. Morgan William with the steal. She's going to go coast to coast. No one stops ball, blows past the defense to the rim for two. MSU on fire to start. Then MSU going from deep. A little give and go. Pop out from Roe Johnson. Cans the triple. Bulldogs start the game on an 11-0 run. And after that, they just kept it rolling. Mainly from the queen. Victoria Vivians was red hot in the first half. Got some friendly home bounces. She'll appreciate that, including that one from the outside. Then AM attempts the bold strategy of leaving Vivians wide open. That's not going to pay off. And then Tory had not one, not two, not three, but four first half triples. State led AM by 11 at the break. Second half we go, Morgan William back to work. Two of her 12 points, slicing right to the rack for two. Bulldogs up 19 after three, and in the fourth quarter, to finish it off, Blair Schaefer joins the party. Left alone in her favorite spot, the corner triple cash. Hale State Hoops becomes the first women's program to claim an outright SEC championship as the Bulldogs defeat AM 76 to 75. Our Robbie Donahoe was in the midst of the celebration in the streamers and has more from a historic night inside the hump. After losing to South Carolina three times in title winning positions a season ago, Vic Schaefer mentioned that he looked forward to the day when his team would be the one celebrating under the confetti and streamers. Sunday was that day. Sometimes it's, you have to go through some really hard times, you know, really disappointing times. And I've been really disappointed at times for my kids and my staff. I know how hard they work, and it just wasn't our time. And uh, sometimes the good Lord puts you through those times to get you ready for something bigger and better. And uh, today was bigger and better, my friend. Couldn't be happier for our players. Again, I know how hard they work. I just... I know the blood, sweat, and tears that they've poured into this, and uh, as long as, as well as my staff. That's the things that I'm thinking about when that happens. Is finally our kids aren't in a locker room. We're not listening to somebody scream on the floor. It's us. You know, it's always getting thrown in our face, but it's not ours. So it's just finally ours. So we just try to enjoy the moment. Me and the seniors, we all talk about it like, dang, we came here and we doing something like this. Like we'd be like surprised at home, but then again, we had we trusted in our coach and we believed in what he said. So he got it done. And how appropriate it was for Mississippi State. When the fans were chanting SEC on the verge of celebrating a title, Morgan William drove to the basket and scored. Unfazed by the celebration late in the game. The SEC championship is groundbreaking, the first in women's hoops history, but it's only one part of the ultimate goal. We finished today one game at a time. We end up, you know, getting the SEC, but we still got games left, so I'm just worried one game at a time and everything else take care of itself. I think we can enjoy the moment, but our overall goal is not finished, so we can't enjoy it too much. We got to get back to practice and do what we do best. And Keep working because we're not finished. Goal number one is complete. Goal number two comes in March at the SEC tournament in Nashville. And the ultimate goal is a little over a month away in Columbus, Ohio. One down, two to go. Reporting in Starkville, Robbie Donahoe, WCBI Sports.